how to get more volume in the back of your head if you have a flat head shape back here. I've, been, I've gotten a handful of client, uh, comments about that and I felt that, you know what, it's, it, it is a technical video. I like doing technical videos and helping explain things. So I'm gonna be kind of talking about that specific topic. So sometimes people don't have, you know, their occipital bone here. Uh, I don't know what causes it, but it's just simply their skull shape, right? There's no, nothing protrudes out here. It's very, very flat, right? This mannequin kind of has, a, it does have a roundness into here, but just imagine if this was completely flat, right? you can do things in order to camouflage that to build more volume like this, to create a, mo a more rounded shape. Now, I suggest not getting a really, really short haircut like this. See how this, this, is, this is relatively flat like this. If you have an issue or you feel self-conscious because your head is very flat in the back, well, guess what? If you've got no hair there to create any shape, then this type of haircut really isn't going to be the right haircut for you. Again, that all depends on how you feel about yourself. So the more you see it, you know, the more it's going to bother you. So that's why I suggest having something that has a bit of length like this. And I know this is kind of, this is the Noah Eubanks uh, hair tutorial I did. So you can search it in my playlists or my videos. I did a tutorial, full color and haircut tutorial on this, but these are great haircuts for something like this. If you're looking to create a bit more volume and texture right in through here. So now let's talk about the actual technical process of how to achieve it. So as we can see right into here, I've got this combed all straight down and let's imagine this is a lot flatter, kind of like that last mannequin head. And because this is combed, as close to the scalp as possible. I want to kind of mimic what it looks like if it's laying very, very flat. What we want to do, and that's why these types of haircuts look great because you can, you can create a shape back here that flows in through the front. For example, watch what I do here. Watch what the illusion of, and, and, I, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually demonstrate this in a video here, in the video here, but what happens is to see how we're building and, and it's not doing it yet because I haven't cut it, but the key is to try to get volume in through here where it's flat. How do you go about doing that? Well, baby Yoda here knows, knows how, okay? <laughs> so this is definitely more of a professional type of, you know, focus because there's no way you can do this yourself at home. So for anybody who's asking me this, this is virtually, I think, impossible to do this on yourself because this is a very, very somewhat, somewhat basic, but also could be advanced for uh, even hairstylists, right? So it's not the easiest to do. I just wanna, maybe you can express it to your, to your stylist of what to go about doing. So what we need to start, where we need to start is right where the, uh, the, the area is flat. So we need to kind of recreate an occipital bone, which is the bone right here in the back of the head, and if it's very, very flat, we need to almost create an illusion that there's one there. Now there's a technique in haircutting called graduation. Graduation builds weight and layering removes weight. And then one length is maximum weight. So what we need to do is we need to create graduation, which means that it's going to be longer on top here and then go inwards towards the head shape. And that is what's going to give the illusion. So we're gonna, I'm gonna angle my fingers going downwards. And this point right here, that point right there, that very, very top layer, see how already it's, it's wanting to, to kind of jump out? Well, that's what we need to do. We need to create an illusion based off of the haircut to fill in that void of having the extra volume. And simply what, what we're gonna do is just follow the guideline. And the guide is basically the hair that's cut from the previous section, and you're gonna follow it all around. Now it is important to do this section by section, and I really just wanna kinda of focus in through here. There, as you can see, all that hair needs to come off down in through here. And your, my fingers, as you can see, are pointed downwards because we, I want this to be the longest point. Because when there is no weight, you need to build it. It's like building a, a foundation for a house. 
and it's all about finger positioning as well. And I'm going to extend that shape right in through the very, very corner, right through here. So now, as I comb this, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a reaction, right, to see what's happening here. So the next section now that we're going to take, and as we move upwards, we're going to cut everything to that point, right? And we're going to, again, overextend, and now we're going to cut right on top of that section like that. <clears throat> and, and, and I'm sure as you're watching this, if you are not a licensed stylist or barber or whatever, uh, <laughs> you're probably saying, yeah, how am I going to even be able to do that? That's like impossible to do it myself. Well, that's the key. That's the challenge when I get all these, everyone asking me questions on things. How do I cut this? And how do I do that? And blah, blah, I want to cut my son's hair. I want to cut my, my aunt's hair, my sister, or whatever. I spent 25 years learning how to do this. You know, I, I can't teach you in a haircutting video if you're not even a professional. So it's, it's very, very difficult. I'm sorry. All right, so here we go again. And we're just building weight right in through this area. So any hair that needs to be cut, it will, it will be very, very obvious, but you have to make sure that this is the starting point. You're building the weight right here. Next section, and you know, since I've done this so many times, it, it, it can go re really quickly, but here's another key point right through here. So now, there's that longer hair, and what I'm doing is I'm angling my fingers down like that, so that it builds on top of that initial first section, right? The, the foundation of this technique is where do you want that volume to be? And that's where you have to start building the weight, right? Again, it's, it, is, it is kind of an illusion, but that's the magic of hair cutting is that you can, you can do all these things. And, and that's what's great. And if you, you, I suggest, you know, if these types of things are an issue, Find somebody who really understands hair and they understand what needs to be done. You know, so if, if you're going into somebody and you say to them, oh, the, the back of my head's very, very flat, you know, I don't know what to do. Well, <laughs> and, they, and if they really don't have an answer for you, it's time to maybe say, all right, well, I'm sorry, but I want to go to somebody else or I'm out of here because they can really screw your hair up. For the very, very top section, and the top back of the head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything out like that and just cut off that, that little corner right there, okay? And this is the first time I'm doing this on this mannequin, so this should reflect the shape pretty immediately after I'm, I'm done cutting with these last couple sections. And you'll see the big difference, right? You'll see the big, big, big difference in how this looks. Having longer hairstyles like this, it may take some time to grow out, um, but you know, it's worth it if you want, if you really have that much of an issue, right, with this being very, very flat. All right, let's raise this up a little bit here. What I haven't done is I haven't gone in and cut all this down into the bottom here, which I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time doing because that's not the whole point of this video. But uh, what I do wanna help you guys understand is that wh what this is creating right, what this type of haircut is creating, it's creating weight where it's needed. So sometimes what you need to be sure of is that when you comb this all out, you know, you may have a little bit of a, kind of a weight line, so to speak, um, just because you are building weight and weight comes with sometimes weight lines, which doesn't mean you're gonna have a solid line in the back of your head, but what it does mean is that you're gonna have some sort of volume right through here that transitions into the bottom. So now, as I'm combing this straight down, what's happening is you can see right here what we've done. And just by this haircut alone, we've got a lot more texture and a lot more volume in through here, right? And this is even, this is even blow dried because I can make this, you know, some of you guys have been saying, oh, it still looks flat. Well, yeah, I can make it look very, very flat if I comb it, but even with the flat, you can see the roundness right there. The best way to go about blow drying this is you can use a brush like this. This is a sculpting brush. 
or a vent brush, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you, what you, what you want to do is you want to, to create volume with the blow dry as well. And how do you go about doing that? Well, you lift like this and you turn the brush outwards, right? And the nozzle has to be in sync with the blow dryer. That's why we use a nozzle because it directs the air in one main area. All right, so now as we can see, we've got a lot of volume right in through this area to help camouflage uh, the back of the head. Now, depending on what kind of look you want, you can bring this much lower. You know, what you need to do is, fo is really focus on the areas that are needed the most in order to create that volume. If you want to start this lower, you simply hold your fingers out and you, you can really dictate with your fingers where you want that volume to begin. Say you want it way down here, well guess what? This hair has to come all the way down here to create that shape. But if it's something that it's right in the back of the head, right in through here, and, and you're saying you know, to yourself, I need to have more volume and I'm sick of it being flat, well this is the best solution you can do. Now that type of look, again, is gonna be a bit difficult if your hair is like this. But look at the difference. All right, let me just bring these in here. See the difference, all right? The more, the roundness that we have now and the fullness compared to this being super flat. You know, if you wanted to have your hair cut like this, then, you know, and not have it so flat, but you still want to kind of short, well, you can create volume and you can create some sort of graduation with the hair being super short but it's got to match in with the rest of the style. You know, maybe just when you're having the barber cut it, you know, they leave a little bit of length and, and, and or it's a bit more of a square or graduated shape right in through the back of the head right here. So it's more like this as opposed to just straight uh, flat. So I guess that is pretty much. And lastly, also on a mannequin head like this, for example, you know, if you if it's very, very flat again, it's about building the layers the hair needs to have layers in order cr to create volume or lift. It's just the type of layers really, really depends on what the end result is going to be. Well, let me know if you found this video helpful. I know it's, you know, it's just a topic that I have gotten a few requests about and I figured let me just kind of show you guys and let you know, hey, it's not so simple as just trying to cut your hair yourself. You need to really go to the stylist who understands head shapes and haircuts so that they can kind of help recreate something, right? So let me know in the comments below if this helped explain things to you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.